all right today we'll be doing everything from the scratch that is we'll be uh, creating aurora a security group to secure it and we'll be able to uh, query the data even the tables databases will be creating everything from the scratch so please uh, be uh, comfortable yeah, because even if you are uh, every new to AWS cloud or if you have just uh, signed in for hands on you can straight away follow up this tutorial so let's uh, begin with the hands on so first uh, we need to create one security group so uh, security group we know uh, will come under the EC2 um, because on the left hand pane uh, we have uh, the security group option here security group so let's uh, create one security group first let's uh, click on a new security group let's give it a name it will be uh, like Aurora SG for security group so the description we can give uh, this SG is for Aurora next we have the uh, VPC I will be selecting uh, VPC so this is not a VPC tutorial. I have already done a VPC tutorial previously. How to create it? You can create one. Let's create one inbound rule. So in inbound rule, uh, there is already a ready-made option available where we can select MySQL or Aurora. So we don't need to think much. Uh, then source uh, IP will be uh, anywhere, but you can also give uh, custom IP. Yeah. But for this tutorial, anywhere IPv4 uh, is uh, fine. Let's uh, go down and uh, create uh, this security group. So it uh, takes uh, instantly um, to create one security group. Next, uh, let's navigate uh, to Aurora. We'll be creating uh, now a database. Aurora will come under uh, like RDS. So let's navigate to RDS. So see, that is the magic. Even if you like are confused, like uh, you can't find Aurora, just go to what's shown by the uh, AWS intelligence so let's click on create a database so we'll be navigating down we'll uh, standard create here we have the option Aurora MySQL compatible so here uh, some of the uh, features are shown if you are very new to it but we already know it we don't need it uh, let's go down uh, here uh, we need to select one engine uh, which we uh, want let's select uh, this one 5.7 Let's um, select, uh, since this is a dummy database, so we are not doing any kind of production activity. So dev test is fine for this tutorial. Let's give a, a DB identifier. So we can uh, write uh, cloud guru Amit DB identifier, kind of this thing. Uh, this name might appear in the database. So uh, we need to be careful. So we are not using AWS secret manager. Uh, we'll be using self-managed let's create a um, one password we can also auto generate it but uh, yep now we can also uh, create one manual one this looks good we need to remember the username just uh, note this one master username a uh, small uh, admin and the password otherwise we won't be able to log in right um, let's uh, go down a bit we'll be creating Aurora standard uh, looks good let's uh, we'll be creating serverless because uh, it's very easy to maintain so we'll be keeping uh, this one ACU and 64 ACU looks good additional uh, configuration uh, scaling uh, is fine for us let's go down to the um, connectivity here we have um, the VPC VPC is already created for us so for uh, DB subnet group also will be leaving to default because this is not a netwo networking tutorial anyway. I've done it previously. So let's remove this default one because uh, we have created our own VPC right few moments back in EC2. Let's select our own Cloud Guru Amit Aurora SG. So it's now appearing here. Uh, looks good. Then in additional configuration setting, we need to select this one. Just note it because we are uh, going to throw SQL queries. Uh, execute SQL queries from the query editor. So let's select this one. Uh, you can optionally give tags, but this is just a uh, uh, dummy database even. Uh, initial database uh, name. Uh, we can mention it like uh, my demo or anything uh, which is suitable. Let's go down. Uh, everything looks good. 
um enable deletion protection we don't uh, like we are not bothered much because this is a kind of a testing database anyway so let's uh create okay the master password is invalid so yeah now it looks good to me let's go down all the way to the bottom and click on create it takes a while uh, i think uh, from my experience it might uh, take 5 to 10 minutes maybe uh, here also as soon as you create the database you will be getting some like uh, elastication all uh, this thing also we can uh, configure it like um, you know, to uh, save cost and improve the performance uh, we have done uh, in solution architect associate you might be uh, knowing that elastic cache mem cache d red is this uh, this kind of concept so for now we don't need it because we'll be making this uh, tutorial a simple one um uh, let's uh, close uh, it's uh, creating uh, node is serverless uh, it will take uh, some time i have created uh, one um queries for you so till that time let's go through the queries um first of all uh, right uh, we need a, a table in order to query right and in order for a table to reside we need a database so i have uh, created one database if it doesn't exist our database name is student database where it will uh, containing some student information then we'll uh, we need to use that database uh, then uh, we need to create one table uh, structure of the table where a student id is the primary key uh, that is primary key uh, we know should be unique uh, value across the uh, uh, table um, then uh, we will be inserting some dummy values into the table and selecting the uh, records from the table so that what is our agenda if you look at the architecture diagram as well so this is what i have done i have created is aurora our uh, database um then we need to create uh, this uh, uh, table then we need to use query data to query the data so everything we have uh, done from the scratch so let's uh, wait till this database aurora database gets ready all right our database is now available so let's uh, throw some uh, queries at it so we need to select this database identifier as mentioned like this will be appearing so let's select this identifier let um, uh, we have selected manually the database username and password so we need to uh, uh, write it down so our username was admin in small let's uh, type the password schema is optional we we can write it uh, anything like mike my demo or anything uh, the query statement terminator is important because in our uh, query if we look uh, here uh, all ends with semicolon so semicolon uh, should be there as a query terminator there are other options as well whatever you want uh, but this is uh, you know like the standard in uh, most databases uh, we use uh, semicolon so let's um, click on connect to database yeah we got this uh, query editor now now we are ready uh, to throw some queries at it so let me uh, copy paste uh, this uh, document so it will be available for diamond members and above by default along with the pdf so let's uh, copy paste this thing as uh, already explained i am just running this out we don't need to worry about about uh, uh each line so yeah if you notice the last line that is select star from uh, university this one so uh, we can see our uh, data in the table got inserted uh, whatever dummy values we have uh, given here so data is uh, there we are able to uh, query the data as well so in uh, we have uh, uh, successfully created one uh, database uh, created one table in it Uh, then able to insert the values and we are able to query it. So that uh, what was in intent, we have done everything from the scratch. If you look the architecture diagram, so I hope uh, you found this tutorial for Aurora very helpful.